for peace after a violent start to the year in Stockton. 16 homicides, the latest, a 32-year-old killed protecting his young nieces and nephews in what appears to be a random home invasion. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of the CBS 13 News at 3. I'm Curtis Ming. And I'm Marley Ginter. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live at the scene of the latest homicide in Stockton. Madison? Yeah, today here played out a very different scene. A community outreach event has just wrapped up. In fact, over my right shoulder, you see the mayor of Stockton is still here talking to community members. And this was all part of a big push to show those that live in this very apartment complex and in this area where that 16th homicide of the year took place earlier this week, that they are seen, heard, and the city's got their back. That your city government is in support of you. A delivery from Bread of Life, representatives from the Women's Center, Stockton PD, and the city's mayor, all together today as a show of support after the city's 16th homicide this year. This is unacceptable. It will not be tolerated in the city of Stockton, and we're going to do everything that we can to mitigate the violence. This set up just yards from what was a home invasion. Tyrone Deloney died protecting his family. Law enforcement and outreach teams go door to door to neighbors today to let them know they aren't alone. But we're here today as a group to start that healing process. Is it enough? The director of the Office of Violence Prevention said their team is made up of social workers, but the job isn't just one thing. They could respond in this way, a community event, or to a crime scene like they did earlier this week. What happened here was, uh, I, I just think it speaks uh, volumes as the importance of a community coming together to start that healing process, but also to encourage people like put down the guns. Yeah, so Stockton city manager told me that the makeup of these crimes are pretty diverse. You know, uh, less than a third of those are gang related. Some are just personal disputes that escalated. And then, of course, that one that happened this week that we talk about, that home invasion, he says the key word there is random. And while many crimes are scientifically able to be predicted in certain areas, when it comes to random, he says all the city can do is just show the victims of that crime, those family members, that they have got their back and they are here. Madison Keevy, thank you for that live report. I know a lot.